Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we are going to see about Test Case Hub. So Test Case Hub is a wonderful innovation that is learned by our near and dear and respected Sanjay Kumar. So Sanjay Kumar has invented many tools like Selectors Hub, Test Case Studio, Auto Test Data, which can help testers in their day-to-day -day routine task. Right. And now he has come with one more innovation that is test case hub. Right. Now, what is this test case hub? So as the name suggests, test case hub is something that is pertaining to something that is related to the test cases. Right. It's a repository of test cases and test scenarios. Right. So I'll show you first. We will see what it is and then we will also see the test case hub in detail. Okay. So test case hub is actually a repository of test cases and scenarios. So user can search for any functionality or feature in test case hub, and it will list all possible best test cases, right? If user found any missing scenarios or test cases, or which are not available for any particular scenario, then user can add those test cases, which will be reviewed. And after review, it will start appearing on the search results. So it's a wonderful tool. Right, it will evolve over the time period with the community support and will help everyone in their testing. Right, you don't need to install any setup, you don't need to download any exe. It's a web page, it's a web application, and that to a single page. Now, there are two important aspects that you we would like to see before going to the website. See, the test cases or the test scenarios which are mentioned here would be helpful to the freshers. And they also would be helpful to the experienced as you know why I mentioned pressure because pressure they don't have real time experience of how to test some particular application but the test scenarios by going through the test scenarios which are documented by real time testers and there is also a part of review process behind that so that would actually start them thinking in the direction of doing actual testing right rather than just testing the login application they will be able to explore more they will be able to learn more via the scenarios so if you are a pressure i would request each and every one of you to please open this website try writing the test cases test scenarios first by yourself and then see the answer into the website and then you will come to know okay where do you like which kind of scenarios did you miss so that's how you can use this website as a source of interview preparation right second thing is for experienced people let's say if they are just doing functional testing so if they search anything if they get the task of non-functional testing then if they search anything pertaining to it so they will get an idea on test case of what kind of scenarios what kind of test cases would be there right and it's not haphazard manner see uh, at times you know many of the applications many of the blogs websites fail because there is no review person there is no one to see what posted it correctly or someone has posted it incorrectly but the best part here is it has been continuously reviewed right and then only it has been updated right now let us see the link of test case hub also so when you open this website Right, so this is how it looks. This is the test case hub website, right? And it has been uh, created by Sanjay Kumar, right? So he's there, and you can also follow him on LinkedIn, and you can <clears throat> tag me and him on LinkedIn, and uh, put the post on LinkedIn. How test case hub is useful for you? So that will be, uh, you know, a very good thing to understand how it is helping and if any feedback or any suggestions is there please feel free to post it on the link okay now let's come to the test case hub let's say if i want some of the testing scenarios for e-commerce website right so i will mention <clears throat> amazon test cases and i'll say search right okay so what is amazon amazon is nothing but it's an e-commerce based website right so e-commerce so 
So now let's say if I want to search test cases of logout. So I'll enter logout here and I'll click on search. So this is the functionality and the good part is they have mentioned what kind of scenarios are these? Are these positive scenarios? Are these negative scenarios? What is the priority of these test cases? P1, P2, P3, P4. So that's how you will come to know the test cases. Now you can see, uh, you can see all the test cases here. You can go to the next page. You can see how many entries you want to see in one page. So let's say if I select 50, so that option is also there, right? So a lot of uh, good test cases are there and you can also download Excel file. You can download CSE file. You can download these test cases in the form of PDF also. So Excel format, CSV format, PDF format, these formats are available for you to use this particular test cases. Also, you can copy the test cases. But what I would suggest if you are a fresher and you want to add the value so you can also contribute from the scenario point of view, as we were searching for Amazon test cases. So then someone can write Amazon website test scenarios, test cases and upload them, get it reviewed. So you will also come to know to what level you are able to think and to what level it's matching the market level. See, now is the time for preparation. Now is the time where you upgrade yourself because market is not going that good. So now you should explore such kind of tools. You should You should make sure that these things are, uh, you know, uh, helpful to you in your testing, right? So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.